I welcome you all for the digital communication lecture modules. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the cyclic course. The cyclic course are subparts of the linear black course, or it is a subdivision of the linear black course. So, if any code has to be a cyclic code, it has to satisfy the two properties. One is the linearity property, and second one is the cyclic shifting property. If any course has satisfies both these properties then that course are said to be a cyclic course first we will look at the linearity property consider the course c i and c j okay so addition of these two course c i and c j will give the value you know the output should also be an a code word this is the first condition we are considering two codes the addition of two codes will become a, a code word that's the first property and the second property is a shifting property so if you are considering the code word c1 c2 c3 at the until cn if we left shift or right shift any number of bits obviously the resultant should also be a code word okay you can shift the for example you can shift the c1 to the right hand side one bit or two bit whatever so we can shift it to the right hand side okay so even after shifting now we are getting code that code should be also be a code word so this property is a shifting property so there are two properties one is the linearity properties okay and the second one is a shifting property see in both the cases whatever the operation we are doing you know the final output should also be a code word that is the concept of both the codes now we are going to solve the problem okay on cyclic codes first check the following codes are a cyclic codes they have given four sets of codes check these codes are a cyclic codes so the first one is four bits all the codes are four bits 0 0 0 0 and then 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 so this is the four bits we need to four codes we need to ensure that whether these codes are a cyclic codes or not what is the first step the first step is to check the linearity okay so linearity is the addition property we need to take any of these two sets of codes and we need to add it the output should also be a code word so first so we are leaving zero because if you are adding zero with any other term again that same value is going to get so we leave the zero and take this value zero one one zero and then take the third value 1001 zero, zero, one. so if we add these two value of binary addition 0 plus 1 will get 1 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 1 1 again 0 plus 1 1 so the output is 1 1 1 1 and it will be of in the set of course you know whatever the set of input set of course you know so the output should be the part of the input set of course so here the four ones that will be a part of a input set of course okay that's the one condition again now we need to take the same value 0 1 1 0 again we need to add with these four ones 1 1 1 1 so if we add gets added with this we are getting the value of 1 0 0 1 this is also a part of a given code and then third we need to add the last two, two values if we added these two values again we are getting the value of 0 1 1 0 so this is also a set in the set of input code so if you add all the values you know the output is also be in a given set of input codes so these set of codes are a check uh, satisfy the condition of the linearity so once the first step is over the second step is shifting property so we need to take any one code again i am neglecting zero because all the zeros you know even if whatever the shift is that then it is going to be the same value so take up the second value zero one one zero i am going to shift one one shift towards the right hand side if i am shifting one shift towards the right hand side so this zero will become here this one will become here this one will become over here and this zero will push up at the first place so the output if you are shifting one bit at the right hand side the output is zero zero one one which is not in the set of given codes so this code is not satisfy the condition of a shifting property so any codes which does not satisfy both the linearity as well as shifting property then that code is not a cyclic code so the given set of code is not a cyclic code this is the concept we need to check linearity once linearity satisfied we must go with the shifting if shifting is not satisfied 
then obviously the code is not a cyclic code if shifting also satisfied linearity also satisfied then that code is alone said to be a cyclic code we look at the one more example we understand the uh, concept better so now check the following codes are a cyclic codes again we have a four values 000 and 0101 1010 and 11111 so first again i am neglecting zero i am taking up this second and third value i am adding i am getting the value of all the four ones which will be in the set of input codes again i am taking second and fourth terms i am add up together okay so again i am getting this value which is also in the input set of codes and finally i am adding last two digits i am adding that the result will be in the input set of codes so here all the three additions will provide the output that output will be available in the input set of course so this course satisfies the linearity property then the second step is we need to go with the shifting property so again i am neglecting zero i have taken up the second term zero one zero one i am going to shift it one point towards the right side right side if i push one right shift you know the resultant will be of a one zero one zero okay so the 1010 will be in the part of the given set of inputs code. So this condition is over. Then take up the same value to go with the left shift. Okay. So if you go with the left shift, obviously the resultant value will be again 1010. It is also a part of the input code. So you can take up all the remaining two values. You can check like that. Okay. Either do right shift or do left shift, one bit or two bit, whatever bit, and then Obviously, once it is satisfied, you know, it will be applicable for the all the bits. You take one code and you do both the left shift and the right shift. If it is satisfied, obviously, the all the codes will satisfy the condition. So, this code satisfies the shifting property. So, already it satisfies linearity. Now, it satisfies the shifting property. So, it, any code that satisfies the both the property is said to be a cyclic code. So, the given set of code is called as a cyclic codes. This is the problem number two. Okay. So, cyclic code is a subdivision of a linear block code. If a code should be of cyclic code, it satisfies these, these two properties. So, we discuss about what is linearity property and what is time shifting, sorry, what is shifting property and then we have discussed two problems okay in that first problem it, uh, it ensures the linearity but it not ensures the shifting so it is not a cyclic code in the second one you know it satisfies both linearity as well as shifting property obviously this set of code is said to be a cyclic code this is about a cyclic code thank you